Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix or replace an individual letter size key on your Acer Aspire ES1 series laptop. The exact model number of the computer used in this video will be below in the description, but this should help you with any of the Acer Aspire ES1 laptops. The only thing you're going to need for this operation, guys, is a small flathead screwdriver. Smaller the better, because the bigger it is, the more chance you have of damaging one of the key components. So smaller the better flathead. If you need any help with tools or supplies for any of your computer projects, there'll be a video link above, also below in the description. I'll give you a list of some stuff that I use in my shop. The idea is that you want to take this flathead, smaller the better. You're going to want to, let's do this one. You're going to want to slide it under your keycap, under the keycap, which is the top part but you want it to be over the retainer clip underneath that you can't see. You want to wedge it in between them so that when you pull this off, you don't pull the retainer clip off and break it. So let's slide this in there as much as we can. And then let's pull slowly, gently. All right. So there's your key cap, put that aside. And as you can see, my screwdriver was above the white retainer clip. And that's what I want. I want to hold it down so I didn't break it. Good job, me. Uh, now, as you can see, there are four metal clips. One here in the corner, one there, one there, and one there. That's what's holding your, your key clip retainer down. Uh, in order to take this off safely, don't rip it up, you'll break it. We're gonna take the corner of our screwdriver, and we're gonna put it on one of the metal clips. We're gonna bend it down just a little bit. Bend just a little bit. Uh, that way it gives us some play. That's, so we can pry it off. So let's try that nice and easy. Try to be gentle. Try to pry that off now. Oof, kind of hard to get at that, huh? Let's go at it from this way. Try to pry that off nice and gently. Okay, there's the first one. Okay, see? Once you get it a little bit, it, it usually just comes. So there's our clip. Now let's make sure we didn't break it. You got this little bump there, that little bump there, we're good. You also got these two underneath, if you can see on those ends, so we're good. Those are very easy to break, and if you break it, you're done. It, it's not gonna fit in properly. Sometimes, guys, that hinge clip will come apart into two separate parts. It's a two-part clip. You didn't break it, you just have to get it back together. I'll play you now a short clip showing what to do if those do come apart, how to get them back together. Okay, guys, so there's your hinge clip or your retainer clip. It's a two-part clip. So if it comes apart, I'll show you how you can get it back together. So as you can see here, this is the inner clip, there's the outer clip, and on either side of the inner clip you have these plastic pins, and they go into corresponding plastic holes on either side here. So you can get this back in there. The hard part is making sure that they're lined up correctly, that this isn't upside down. But you can put that piece back in here, you may have to hold one end and gently pull out the other end in order to make room. Uh, but again, very breakable components, but you can put them back together. Okay, so that's how you would deal with that. Hope you didn't damage or break any part of your key assembly taking it off. If you did and you need help finding a replacement, I usually look on sites like Amazon or eBay for keys. If they don't have individual keys for sale, I would end up buying a whole keyboard and just taking a key off of that, keeping the rest of the keyboard for spare parts. But now I'll show you how to put your key assembly back on if you're replacing it or if you're done doing whatever you're doing, cleaning under there, whatever, um, and you gotta get your key back on. I'll show you how to do that now, and then I'll try to answer some frequently asked questions about key repair at the end of that segment. So let's show you now how to, how to install this safely. I'm gonna bend these back up because I showed you how to salvage it and I bent it down, but you don't wanna bend it down and put it on, so let's just make sure these are in good shape. So there's your key clip retainer. What I like to do is get the bottom in first. Put it under these bottom clips first. It's, it's the hardest one. So this is how you're gonna install it. Put it under the bottom ones first, get it in there. Lay it down and push. Push, push. Hmm. Let's examine my, my clips again, make sure they're okay, because I didn't hear any snapping, and I should hear some snapping. You know what, let's try the top first. Okay, so ignore what I said. Let's try the top first. Let's get it in the top, and set the bottom ones down. 
There we go. That's better. Okay, so do the top ones first. Slide those in and snap the bottom ones down. I had it backwards. All right, so now you can take your now you can take your keycap, set it on the top, push. And that works. Okay, so that's the video. Showed you how to take a key off. If you're salvaging it from another keyboard, if you're taking it off to repair or clean, uh, showed you how to deal with the hinge clip if it comes apart and how to reinstall it. So to deal with a few FAQs that usually come up with key repair guys, first of all, the rubber spring in the middle that is not designed to come up to be reinstalled. It's not designed to be a removable part. So if it does come up, your best bet is to try a little bit of glue to hold it down. Um, not a lot though, because remember that thing's got to bounce up and down. So if you fill it with glue, it's not going to be able to do that. Um, that's not a perfect repair. Again, not meant to be repaired. If it is damaged and you can't get it to work, you may end up just having to buy another keyboard to replace it with. Another FAQ, if you've tried this operation, if you've tried to remove your key and clean under it, or if you're installing a new one, or for whatever reason, you've tried to take your key off, you've tried to put it back on, and it's not clicking down correctly. If it's not clicking down, if it's not popping up, if it seems loose or wobbly, um, either something is not installed correctly or something's damaged. What I would do is I would take off my keycap, I may even take another keycap off, leave the hinge clip down, and compare how its hinge clip is staying in place compared to yours. That may help you if your orientation's wrong, if it's upside down, or if it's not clicking right. However, if you can't find any damage, and if you can't find how it's not orientated correctly, but it's not clicking in place, then most likely, guys, it's damaged, you're just not able to see it. Especially if this key came from your keyboard, um, it should go back onto the keyboard. So if it's not going down it's probably damaged you have to replace it last FAQ I'll go over is sometimes people are trying to take off their keycap um, and the retainer clip or the hinge clip comes off with it what do you do well since you usually can't install them while they're connected together as you saw you have to install the hinge clip at an angle most of the time um, you have to take the hinge clip off of the keycap in which case you would do so just as I showed here you would use a small flat screwdriver get it in between them and then pry them apart from each other again trying not to break the hinge clip so those are the three most common FAQs I hope this video was helpful if you need to see a larger key done on this computer or space key, enter key. Uh, the larger keys sometimes have other stuff going on inside. I'll have a video link above, also below in the description, taking you to a larger key. Uh, but again, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you don't see a question there, leave me one, and I do try to get back to you guys a couple times a day at least. So thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time.